Hey everyone, Derek here from Wayscript. In this video, I want to show you how we can automate running a MySQL query every day using the Wayscript platform. Let's get started. Starting out, we'll go to the Wayscript platform. Go ahead and sign in, and then click on Create a New Script. We'll call this one Automate Daily SQL, and click Create. Our first step is to decide on what trigger we want. This is what activates our script. In our case, we want this script to activate daily. So we'll click on Add Trigger and select the time trigger. On the left, we can choose what time of day we want this to run. We'll just leave it as the current time and then we'll activate this by clicking it on. Next, we'll click off of that. Since we're working with the database and need to use SQL, we'll drag in the SQL module straight into our workflow. Once this is in our workflow, we need to add the database that we'll be using. So we'll click on Add an Account on the left. From here, we need to put in information about our database to be able to access it on the Wayscript platform. For me, my database is on AWS, so all my information is here. My endpoint is this location, so I'll copy that and paste it here. My database name is called New Schema, and I have a username and a password. Once you have all those forms filled in, click on Submit, and now we'll test our connection by clicking on Run Code. We obviously don't have a superheroes column, but this is a good check to make sure that we're connected. The database I am working with is a user's database that has information about emails and if we need to follow up with that user. Let's run a simple query that we might want to run every day. We'll click on edit code on the left. We'll select all of this default SQL and get rid of it so we can code in our own. Let's say for this example, we want to write a simple query that looks at where all the users need to be followed up. To do this, we can just write our SQL directly into the Wayscript platform. We can say something like select all from our users table where follow up is the column name is equal to yes. Once we have this, let's go ahead and run our code and we get back all the people that we need to follow up with. We'll save this and close out of here. This video is just to show you how to automate this query, but there's a lot of connections that we can add on to the end that might be valuable to you. Let's say once we get that information, you need it in a Google Sheet. We could pull a Google Sheets module directly into our workflow. Or let's say that you wanted to add those email addresses into a MailChimp mailing list. You could do that here as well. We have a ton of connections that you can add on and we're always building more. And that's it for this one. If you have any suggestions on what we should build next, please let me know. If you have any suggestions on future functionality on the website, please let us know that too. Until next time.